My name is Christine Giordano and I'm a registered dietitian and certified specialist in sports dietetics. I'm welcoming everyone from the Illinois Human Performance Project back into my home kitchen where we've been featuring a series of performance snacks to fuel both academic and athletic performance. Popular snacks amongst busy athletes are portable bars and bites because of their convenience and because of their taste and the balance between carb and protein that we've mentioned before with, uh, with performance snacks. So oftentimes athletes don't have the time or the energy to be in the kitchen preparing snacks on a regular basis. So the make your own granola bar or make your own or energy bites were born as a quick and easy grab and go option. So today we're gonna to be making just one example of these energy bites. First, brainstorm what you wanna include in your energy bites. Think about the following categories of foods that will help you guide your decision making process. So think about things like nuts, dried fruit and seeds, any flavor enhancers that you want to add, maybe some nut butters, and then really something to bind it all together. Once you identify the flavor profiles that you want to include, you're just going to get a big old bowl from the cabinet and, or you could do it in a, in a standalone mixer if you wanted to as well. So popular bases for these bites tend to be oatmeal and dates. So we were actually going to be using both in this recipe. So oatmeal and dates, we have some right here, are going to provide quality carbohydrate sources for our body. It gives us energy and they also have good quality fiber to help keep us full. So we can actually start by adding about a third cup of old fashioned rolled oats into our bowl. I mean, I'm cutting the recipe in half just because I'm gonna make a smaller portion size, but you could certainly expand this to incorporate more athletes at home or if you were eating these on a regular basis. We're also gonna be adding about a half cup of um, pitted and chopped dates in here as well. And we're gonna be adding about an eighth cup of raisins. So the dried fruit like these raisins will add just another layer of available carbohydrate to this recipe. So next, we're gonna add nuts and seeds. So today I'm choosing to add about a fourth cup of chopped pistachios and one tablespoon of chia seeds because that's what we had in the cabinet on hand. Nuts and seeds provide some plant-based protein and healthy fats to help us recover. One of the best benefits about these energy bites is the ability to adapt the recipe to your specific needs. For example, if you have a nut allergy or a peanut or tree nut allergy, you can easily swap in a sunflower butter here or seeds in order to make it work for you. Lastly, what I'm gonna do is finish up my energy bites by adding a couple of teaspoons of honey. And in this as well is about a fourth tablespoon of vanilla extract, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. These are gonna add not only flavor to it, but it's also gonna help with that texture to help bind them together. So as I was mixing this up, you can see it's a little bit loose and not quite um, you know, together. So what I'm gonna do is add an extra tablespoon of peanut butter into this that hopefully will help bind things a little bit up. So just take a spatula and try to work some of that into your, your mixture. And after you've kind of incorporated a little bit, what you can do is just get in there with your hands because we're gonna start rolling these into our energy base. Just to the side. So the next, the, or the next thing about these energy bites is that what you can do is um, have the ability to make them as big or as small as you would want. So for instance, if you were trying to make them a breakfast option, you might wanna make them slightly bigger. If you were looking for more a snack in between your meals or after dinner, then you could make them a little bit smaller. So once you're finished rolling your energy bites, the last step is to put them in the refrigerator to chill, or alternatively, you could put them in the freezer for long-term storage. So I challenge you to be creative with these energy bites. There are endless combinations and possibilities to enhance your snacking. Enjoy.